Mm-hmm. Woot, woot. That's the sign of the police. It stopped. Clearly there was someone in there. Lord have mercy. Bro. YouTube, it is I, Under Daisy, and today I am back with another video. The game that I will be playing is called The Stalked. I have been seeing this all over YouTube, but I specifically wanted to play this before watching anybody's gameplay, so I have a lot to catch up on. Basically, the game description reads, Escaped from Liam's obsession. Kate seeks refuge in her grandpa's mansion. Strange occurrences raise questions about Liam's presence or another figure. Unrevealing mysteries and letters, Kate embarks on a journey seeking peace. Well, that's basically what that is about. So yeah, let's just hop into the game. I need to break up with Liam and I hope he takes it well. Got you. Is this our home? Is this his home? Yo, get the f*** out of my way. Oh, jeez. Don't leave. He's... He's hungry. I need to make some food. I'm hungry. Okay, got you. Sometimes it be like that. What are we cooking? There's nothing in the pan. Okay. Are you gonna use any cooking spray? No! Organic food? Nice. You're eating chilled dog food? Yeah. Oh, you, you, you eating that, um, chunky, chunky soup. Who's knocking at the door at this hour? I'm not answering that door at this hour. I could tell you that. I don't give a f who's f knocking. But it, I can't believe it's starting off like this. You, who's there? Liam, honey, can I come in? Liam, I told you it's over. So no, you can't come in. Come on, you can't just leave me like that. I actually can. Get the fuck. <laughs> I love you more than anything. Bye bye, Liam. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Not that open the door, Kate. No, nah, most definitely not open the door for you. That aggression shit does not fly with me. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. Liam, there's plenty of fish out there. Nigga, just say fuck her and keep it pushing. You will be mine again soon. I don't, I don't know too much about that. He's not creeping around the property, is he? Sounds like he walked away. Thank God. Exactly. Is she in a high rise? No, she's in her. Yeah, she's in a high rise. This isn't burned, is it? Oh, do they see y'all You ate that shit straight off the stove. You were a different type of beast. <laughs> a bath. A bath. A little. A, a bath to calm myself down a bit would be great right now. I don't know why I was struggling to say that. Why are my lips not lipping? Is this the bathroom? Figured. This is staying open. Especially since I live alone. What would I be? What the fuck? Don't I live in a high rise? Uh, yeah. I do. The only way a nigga could pull something like that off, there, there's no, there's no people next to me. It's just me on this floor. Penthouse tings, period. How did a rock, I, I honestly don't understand how a rock got all the way up here. Give me another chance, please. I'll treat, I'll treat you well and do anything you want. I promise, just give me one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? It is too much, especially. I'm gonna need you to run me my money for my window. Oh, so this can't even open oh, this. So nigga took out the whole doorknob too? Crazy. <clears throat> you got caught. How was I supposed what? So he wanted to be with me just to harm me. No fucking way, nigga. <clears throat> yup, run out that hoe. <laughs> run out that hoe. Hopefully you don't know your grandpa. Put this bitch in dry. No. You looking at your phone? Girl. 
thirty-three. Grandpa. Girl, I would have been. I would have been on the phone like. I would have been on the phone like. Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> like I would have been driving. What are you doing? Oh, Grandpa, I need your help. Hi, Kate. What's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away, and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before he could do something, but I'm terrified he will find me. And just watch that nigga just stand while you're on the phone. While you're on the phone with your grandpa, you turn, you, you, peep, to the, you peep to the left a little bit. He's going to be standing right there. I don't even want to read the dialogue. I need her to get the fuck. You can live with me for as long as you need. I can't really see that because there's no drop shadow. However, I'm going to be out on a business trip and so on and so forth. Fine, I'm still gonna be safer than staying here. So can I go right now? that's why you called him. I'll send you the address. Okay, the key is in the flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked. If you need to go outside, you could always check the peephole. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. You're a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well. Don't hesitate to call me again. Put it in drive. Bro, I told you. <laughs> like, what is you doing, girl? Like, you were, you were tired, stupid. You were tired. Man, shit. I would have been whipping that shit. <laughs> Man, I'm finna whip this hoe. Like, and you didn't even think to lock your door? I don't know. This character already pissed me off. I finally broke free of something. I wasn't even reading that. If it doesn't have an option for me to click, I'm not reading it. She drives like a grandma. He might, he might have put a tractor in her car. Oh no, did Liam manage to follow me here? I'm getting paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. A neighbor in the middle of nowhere? Like how, like where you are? Uh. I'd rather just wait at a hotel. Your grandpa's out of town. There's no one to keep, you know, help keep an eye out for Liam. And so on and so forth. I, I would have went to a hotel. Grandpa said the key would be under the flower pot. Okay, flower pot. Like we're in the middle of nowhere. I'm not walking. I I can tell you now, Gramp. There we go. Okay. Wow. It's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom ASAP. No Rocky or Ferg. We turn on all his lights. Girl. That light bill gonna be high as fuck. I feel like I'm not high as in the room. Oh, here it is. It didn't make that sound again. Okay, this must be his study or his office or something. Okay, let's just go all the way upstairs. This is his office, and what's down there? Okay, we found a bedroom. Well, we found the only bedroom. 3.55. Wow, I slept that long? Oh, it's PM. Hey girl, you must have scr- Grandpa is home already? No, he said that he'll be out for a while. I don't trust that. That could be Liam and his, you know, cronies or something. Who's at this front door? I don't trust you hoes like that. Let's look at the peep. Let's look through the peephole first. I don't know, man. Hello? Dearest new resident of this mansion. I'm the previous owner of this mansion, and you are the person I've been looking for. I hope you stick around for a while. I'm sure we will get along just fine. I will be watching you. First of all, I don't know. Watching me, this is strange to say the least. I need to go to the store before it gets dark. Let's be careful. Say, 
She's in the wrong person's house. She has to be. This has to be the wrong address. No. Because if Grandpa said that this was her his home, why would he give her an address that is a, that doesn't even belong to him? Grandpa gave her a completely incorrect address. What's that? Some kind of paper. So? Get the planner, I guess. Missing person. Okay. Poster has been added to your collection. This is creepy how similar she looks to me. This is horrible. I hope they found her. Ashley missing. 15-8-2013. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistance can make all the difference. Girl, why would you park next to this van? Stranger. Oh, hi there. I haven't seen you here before. Are you new? You were just waiting to talk to me. Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? None of your business. That a None of your business avenue. That's where I live. I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Exactly. Um, I'm in a hurry. I would've just- I would've just- Bat's eyelashes blank stare at him. Talk about some sorry, I gotta- I gotta go. I would've told that nigga straight up, mind your motherfucking business. Where you going? Is that van yours? I should've known. Mm. Why isn't he pulling off? I don't know. Is that all? You pulled up to the convenience store just to buy some snacks? Hey, yeah. I thought you were heading to like some sort of grocery store. Here, bring my stuff up. Do you want something down here? Would that be all? Y'all got sandwiches out there in the open. Mm. And milk, too. Crazy. That milk is all spoiled. Gross. Car pulling in. I don't like how he's still there. Okay. That's all. Let's go pay. <laughs> Hello. Is that all? Yes. Alright. Total is $22.50. No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long. I would assume. I'm not even sure what the cash cashier said. All right, have a good day. And here are your groceries. Thank you. Thanks to you too. Why is he still here? I was in here for a minute. And you didn't get out your car either? You know, young lady, beautiful lady, like you shouldn't be all... Of course a nigga like you would say that. Let me read what he said again. Still a little spooked. You know, young lady, a beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. So, what's it to you? You don't know if I got a blick on me? What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best they remain unspoken. Be careful, don't let anyone catch you alone again. What do you mean by that? That would have been my sign right there. To head to the nearest gas station and dip out. Fuck this small town. Fuck the residents here. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. I would heed his warning. Let's not forget the groceries in the car, huh? Okay, let's turn on this light. I know that's the back door. So, what I'm gonna do is check this. Mm hmm. As it should be. Turn on that light. Yep. Yes, sir. Now, since this is my place, I'm gonna keep on all the lights. You feel me? This ain't grandpa's house. Grandpa don't even live here. We don't have a light for the stairs. No! You don't have a night light? No! 
That's how you know I'm afraid of the dark. Hey, yeah. Talking about nightlights. Mm-hmm. As it should be, which is empty. Mm-hmm. And I locked that door, right? Yup. And this is locked, right? Yup. Okay. Let's go. What are we looking at? Um, somebody cut that shit. Because there isn't a lock for it. Welcome home. I mean, like, that's cool. You look beautiful in the store today. That could be two, that could be three people, four people, actually. I can't wait to see you again. Wait, no, five people. The cashier, the weird dude at the ATM, the dude that pulled in and never got out his car. We did get out of this car. The fuck, nigga? Oh wait, I'm already there. You don't have a knife in your kitchen? Can we to see you again? Getting closer? I'm soon there. I'm here. Wait, no wait, boy. I'm about to check the door. Check the door for who? First of all, there was creaking in the house, and I checked this bitch, hunt. What I'm talking about. I'm not checking nothing, nigga. Only an idiot will open that door. I'm not walking outside until the morning. I already checked it. Okay. There is new resident. Congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. Really, bitch? Really? You should have did that when you had the chance. You don't know if some that person did anything to your car. You're a fucking idiot for staying here. As soon as I got like as soon as I get that first letter. First of all, just just the environment itself, girl. I wouldn't be staying in a place like this. That's why I said I would be staying in a hotel. You got the hotel, motel, holiday inn. Talking about some drive away. And they did something to your car. Did you even check the back seat? Yep. Girl, there's something really wrong. I need to get inside right now and call the cops. I'm not the door, nigga. I don't know. I think I saw someone behind me. F. Really, bitch. Really? Bitch ass cops. <laughs> it was taking forever. 911 dispatcher, dispatcher, what's your emergency? I need help. Wrong thing to say. Wrong thing to say. I've been, I would have said there's a person trying to break into my home. I need help. I would have said anything to get the police out there. Are you serious? Ah, oh, I just saw a guy off someone in front of me. Anything. I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages and letters and text messages. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at blank. It's urgent. Okay, I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right now. Can you describe the nature of the threatening letters? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line. I'm not gonna talk to you. Stay on the line with me. Help is on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe, secure place within your home, okay? Yes, they're locked. Please hurry. Okay, help is on the way. Stay strong. I'm with you until the officers arrive. I'm gonna just open the door. Of course, duh, bitch. They have a key. It, like they said, it's their old home. Why wouldn't they have a spare key? Our officers will be there any second. Mm-hmm. Woot, woot. That's the sign of the police. Woot, woot. That's the sign of the police. 
Woot, woot. That is the sound of the police. It appears everything is under control now. The officers have app apprehended the man. Hold on. I gotta see this bitch. It said that. Hold on. I gotta see this bitch. I'm not unlocking the door. Do you, bitch, do you not hear him? Hear them? Unlock this shit. I gotta, I gotta see for my motherfucking self, ho. I hear the officers. Okay. It appears that everything is under control. Officers have apprehended the man in a white van outside of your residence. I knew it. I told you, girl. Too many people coming up to me acting like weirdos and so on and so forth. How come these girls never have a blick? Okay, we're bringing him in for questioning. If something else... If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. Phew, what a relief. I thought I'd never feel safe again, but maybe things could go back to normal now. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Let's head to the basement and restore the power? You didn't want to restore the power while the police were there? I hate this girl. And you don't want to bring a weapon out with you, knowing that knowing that multiple people have been acting weird. The men in this town are weirdos. How do you know if they actually did their job correctly? How do you know? How do you know that the police officers aren't also weirdos? How do you know? That nigga in my fucking house. Okay, the power should be back on now. And you worrying about watching videos on TikTok. I can't stand this bitch. I don't give a fuck. I got tunnel vision right now. I'm heading inside this house. Okay. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath and go to sleep. It's gonna be a minute before that, girl. That's one threat down, girl. How do you know that the cops don't know that man? How do you know that one of the cop that he may have a cop as a brother? Like, how do you know? I w I'm not taking anybody's word for it. I also would have told them that, hey, this person cut, this person did something to my car. You didn't. You're gonna be walking everywhere, girl. I heard someone moving outside when I was in that basement. A moment of peace. But why would that stranger go so far? Whatever it is, it's over now. I think that's what she said. Hmm? Exactly. How dare you feel so at peace in this house? I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things now. Let's just go to bed. Idiot. You better walk yourself there. I'm... Hello? Mm-mm. And she want a cool and so on and so forth. I would have asked the police officer for a ride. Like, hey, can you drop me off at the nearest bus station? Train station. Some, some, somewhere. Darling. She has zero self-preservation instincts. Said that she's so exhausted that she's hearing things. What is that noise? You know what that noise is? It ain't never over. Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. Let's go get a knife first. Are there any knives in this house? No! It stopped. Clearly there was someone in there. It, look like, it, looks, it looks like it's just there for display. Period. Lord have mercy. Bro. It was just a nightmare. Ugh. I should probably check out Liam is doing? What? Girl, no! No, I mean, the reason this is all happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my- sh Girl, shut the fuck up. Um, that doesn't make no sense. Fuck no. Fuck that nigga. Should I have said yes? No! Girl, shut the fuck up! Something's off about that book. Yeah, I noticed it, like, earlier, which is why I was looking at it so long. Ain't no way. I 
should have said yes. Nope. Hold on, hold on. Shit. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could go back to say, should I call Liam? Fuck yeah. Okay, royal news. Date 17-8-2013. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15, 2013, by her husband two days ago after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in their residence, Ashley's, Ashley's, sudden, dis Ashley's sudden disappearance has raised suspicions with her husband emerging as the prime suspect, as the prime interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, the urge of anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley. She was last seen here. And I would get the fuck. I'm not going down there, boo. Why would you want to leave? I have done nothing but good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You are never leaving me again. And instead of an engagement ring, probably some crazy ex. You know, and it was a good thing that I didn't con- Yeah, it's locked, and let's just leave it as at that. No, 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 I'm not done investigating. Why aren't we taking photos of this? Girl, pull up. I'm hitting F on my keyboard. We can't call the police? I can't replace you, Ashley. There is no one that is as special as you. And this was on the next day that she, um, that it was reported that she disappeared. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How was it my fault? How was it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. You put that on the 19th. The fuck did I do? How am I going to live without you? This is on the 22nd. What is the point of all of this? Why am I tapping to a dead person? I would do anything to get you back. Same day. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me after 10 years? Ooh. She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will. No matter what, I can't let her run away from me like you once did. And he's been staying in here, probably watching me. It's probably about time to call to talk to Grandpa about what's going on here. This is crazy. So you're not going to allow me to turn around? So I, I read that all in my head, my bad. But I thought it was all over. I found a strange hidden room in your house that contains a that contains some psychotic things to say the least. Maybe the, okay, what this is insane. That maybe the police arrested a guy leaving letters in a hidden room. I lived there in that house for 10 years, never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming home ASAP, no Rocky or Ferg. <laughs> I can't stand not being able to help you. I like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? Exactly, that's exactly what I said. What if they arrested someone who got set up? Got him. We fucking got him. It makes me so uneasy thinking about it. But do you remember about the person that you bought this place from? That could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had gone missing without a trace. It was a talk of the town for quite a while. <laughs> Idiot. Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery. I didn't have enough time to bring a charger. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. It's in the basement. I remember seeing one in the basement. Should I have called Liam? We're not gonna leave his stuff as is? Okay, it shouldn't take 30 fucking years to grab this flashlight. Grab, go. <laughs> Fuck ass bird. I should search for a what? Finally, you're thinking. I would have been found out where the weapons were in the house. We have a vase right nice. there. We could probably take that off and use that as a weapon. We could use the radiator, wow. but I think it would be a more heavier option for you, okay? I should, search, I should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. Everything's locked, right? The thing is, is that he might be, he might be down there. Grandpa needs to hurry up and come, and you... You didn't think to buy a charger when you were at that gas station? Like, this girl pisses me off. Like, she's so dumb and oblivious that it's sad. Okay, so it's just a slip of paper. No. Yeah, because your grandpa would... 
would be would be here in a quick flash, right? He'll be right there in 30 minutes. I thought he said I thought you said he was on a trip. Hi, how are you? Hi, sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean about something. Of course you did. You were the creep that talked to me earlier outside of the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it's creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do that in hopes you would take him back to feel safe again. I was supposed to take it a step further. Liam is such a fucking creep. But I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes sense now. Thank you for telling me. I don't feel safe around you. Could you please leave? Of course, I'm sorry again. I need, I need. Ain't, ain't, ain't no way that, that that much time passed. It was a conversation. Is it? Apparently, it is. And leave his shit open. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I would have put everything right the fuck back, neatly organized and arranged, and how how it was before. Period. I, I, I'm not risking it. I don't want to anger that nigga. He's in the same crib. Why would you tell him to leave, girl, if he if he was sent by Liam? Of course, he could be lying. That could be the stalker. Friend of Liam that you never met? You thought it was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, the police think they've got the person behind this, and you don't know where I am. There's nothing that can stop me anymore. There's one thing you forgot about Grandpa. Yeah. Bitch. What, what, what do I do? I know if I follow down the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I could find some neighbors that could help me. Run. I hear something off to the fucking side, nigga. Was it this? I'm not turning around, bitch. Definitely Liam's car. In no way, bro. What the frick is going on? I heard coughing, girl. I would have ran to the police station. I don't give a fuck how far I have to fucking run. Blood? Liam! She is mine. And only mine to Liam? Don't tell me we... Where are we running to? I think I was playing this game without pressing shift. Do you, do you realize how slow we walk, darling? Okay. I think these are Ashley's remain. What a sick, twisted... That scared me. What She said something individual her husband was. Okay. Let's just run up here. That... That flash, that switch over is crazy. I couldn't wait anymore. I need you to know. My new Ashley. So it was you who has been sending the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care. How you look is more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting for this for so long. No, don't run before it's... Yup. Yes, sir. Survived the stalking. Poor Liam. What? Uh, I don't know. Liam... I wouldn't... I wouldn't say 100% Liam got what he deserved, but it's... it's crazy. You know? It's absolutely insane. I feel bad for Liam. Nope. But at the end of the day, he was such a red flag. Yup. <laughs> like, nothing's ever that deep. You feel me? But let's read this. The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. Period. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized Kate was nowhere 
to be seen. He got a sick feeling that much worse might have happened. He called the police and insistently they made it just in time. The relief the grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? Liam is dead. Man in the white van said that his reasonings for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger f her home from the store. That man was a good man. I, I, when, I didn't say this before earlier when we were in the convenience store with him and so on and so forth. I was just like, hmm. I was just like, yeah, he's nosy and so on and so forth, but you know, looks could be deceiving and so on and so forth. I know his quite line of questioning was suspicious because I wouldn't expect anybody to answer that. But I was just like, what if he was on the police force and so on and so forth? Maybe that's why he was axing. But I wasn't 1000% suspicious of him until I didn't see his car go. But dang, shout out to that guy for being a real good Samaritan. But then again, he could have had bad intentions, just as bad as intentions as the person that was following me. So we never know. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when news broke free, the police realized their mistake, that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. That brown haired dude. The psychopath who offed his ex wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting a sentence to life in prison. Beast. Enjoy jail food, bitch. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult at night. She often remembers the daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, finds herself checking behind her, scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. That PTSD. Thanks for playing. Board game made by solo developer Ke Kevar. I I'm just gonna kill you, Core. Ooh. This was an interesting game. My only complaint about the game is that you know, well, I have I have two complaints. One, we walk ex extremely slow, like snail snail movement and so on and so forth. That's like my only like I wouldn't say complaint. Um. Constructive criticism. We walk really slow, but the story is really good. But the other complaint is, is that, you know, when I was in the storage room and found the secret hidden room, there was a problem with that um, area and progressing with the story. And in your game, you don't have any save points. So I had to play the entire game over again when I had, when I had thought that like, hey, it would take me to the main menu and so on and so forth. But no, it exited out of the game. And then when I opened up back the game, there was no save points. I had to start it all over from the beginning. I, I, I'm supposed to be progressing in the story, but yet there's no indication for me to progress in the story. It's because I had opened it, I had read the letters and so on and so forth, but I opened the box before reading the letter next to it, I think. But I know that I did it out of order regardless because I was supposed to open up the box last, which is, that's... The box shouldn't open until like we click on every item so that's like literally my only complaint but yeah if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye